In this video, I'm going to give you five tips to get the most out of your Z-Power rechargeable hearing aid batteries. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. Z-Power rechargeable batteries are a great alternative to traditional disposable hearing aid batteries. And more and more people are making the switch to Z-Power every day for the following reasons. First, nearly every major manufacturer of hearing aids now has at least one model that uses the Z-Power technology. This means that you'll be able to use the silver zinc rechargeable batteries and you likely won't even have to switch from your favorite brand. Second, Z-Power batteries are designed to last you all day so you won't have to worry about running out of battery at an inconvenient time. Third is if you forget to recharge your batteries at night, you can still use disposable batteries. And fourth is that Z-Power batteries are safe. They are non-toxic, they are non-flammable, and my favorite part is, is that they are 100% recyclable. Now to make sure you get the most out of your Z-Power batteries, let's go over those five tips. These tips are brought to you by Z-Power and they are today's video sponsor. If you would like more information about Z-Power and their innovative rechargeable silver zinc battery technology, check out zpowerhearing.com. All right, so tip number one, make sure you're charging the batteries correctly. This means charging your hearing aids every night. It could take up to seven hours to get a full charge on your Z-Power batteries, depending on how depleted they were when you put them on the charger stand. You'll know when they're fully recharged when you see the solid green indicator light on that charger stand. Tip number two is that when you're not using your hearing aids, they should be back on the charger. You do not need to worry about overcharging your Z-Power batteries. So when you're not using your hearing aids, it is safe to go ahead and put them back in the charger. If you happen to take your hearing aids out and you don't have access to your charger, you can go ahead and leave the batteries inside of the hearing aids. You don't even need to open the battery door. It won't have much impact on your battery life, whether the door is open or closed. However, if you are going to have your hearing aids off for an extended period of time, meaning days or weeks, go ahead and take those batteries out and put them in a safe place. Tip number three is stop gaming the system in order to get a little bit more battery life. Now you may not know this, but there are some disposable hearing aid battery users that when they get the low battery indicator from their hearing aids, they will open and close their battery doors in order to squeeze a little bit more juice out of those batteries. But this is not recommended with a rechargeable battery. This may get you a little bit of extra battery life, but it can cause an over draining of your rechargeable battery, which means it will take longer for that battery to recharge. And if you end up doing this enough times, you can reduce the maximum charge capability of your Z-Power batteries. If you forget to recharge your batteries, just keep some disposable batteries on you. In fact, this is one of the biggest benefits of Z-Power batteries is that you can use them interchangeably with disposable ones if you absolutely need to. And if you do need to, that leads us to tip number four. Pay attention to how you handle the Z-Power batteries. If you do remove your Z-Power batteries, you wanna make sure that you don't put them next to other metal objects. So if you put them in your pocket or your purse, you wanna make sure to keep them away from keys and coins. Like other batteries, contact with other metals could short circuit your Z-Power batteries. And tip number five, make sure you keep your batteries, battery doors, and charger clean. You don't need me to lecture you on the importance of keeping your equipment clean. That was likely instilled in you from your hearing care professional on day one. So feel free to clean your batteries, battery door, and charger with a soft cloth. If you need to use a little bit of cleaning solution like a rubbing alcohol to make sure you keep those charging contacts clean on the bottom of the battery door, you can go ahead and do that. But you just wanna make sure that you do not submerge any of these components into a cleaning solution. There you go, those are the five tips to make sure you get the most out of your Z-Power rechargeable hearing aid batteries. Interested in getting new hearing aids that use the Z-Power rechargeable technology or have existing hearing aids that you wanna make Z-Power compatible? Then check out hearingtracker.com to find a hearing care professional near you. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and share it. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.